Hey, it's Scott. And I want to go ahead and quickly touch on a couple things when it comes to the actually how do you defibrillate a little kid. So when you're trying to figure out how much energy adults for the most part are simple, because back at the regular ER we do this on a seemingly everyday basis. So depending on your defibrillator, we use 150, 200, 360, whichever toy you play with, you know what to use. But when it comes to kids, how much energy do we use for little kids? Couple ways to figure this out. If you've got your PD wheel, you've got your Braslow tape, you've got your hand heavy app, absolutely use them. Because why do mental math under stress if you don't need to? However, outside of those various cheat sheets, the easiest way I've ever come across to figure out how much energy to use for a kid is simply pick up your paddles or pick up your pads and count them. How many should there be? It's not a trick question. There should be two. Therefore, it's two joules per kilo. Because remember, in little kids, whether it's fluids, meds, or defibrillation, everything is something per kilo. So the first time you've got to shock a kid, it's two joules per kilo. And if that doesn't work, remember, Pal says you simply double it and go to four. So if two doesn't work, you simply go to four joules per kilo, and it's as high as you go. Or is it? Why this comes into play is twofold, first of which is in Australia and several other countries for a couple years, they've said if two per kilo doesn't work, we're going to four, so they're like, why are we messing with two? And if they have to defibrillate a kid, their resuscitation efforts start at four joules per kilo, saying let's shock them, get on to the next thing. The other reason is some of y'all remember in the last couple go rounds of pals, they have that little tiny eight point font where it says may consider up to 10 joules per kilo. And honestly, in clinical practice, many people didn't give it a second thought because we said two doesn't work, we go to four, four doesn't work, well, you know what, we're probably gonna need to be doing something else. And again, it's not like we did this on an everyday basis. However, in a couple recent studies with kids in VFib, they found that two joules per kilo did not work in a fair percentage of kids. Four joules per kilo did not work in a fair percentage of kids, and they had to go a whole lot higher. So with that in mind, when you couple the other countries' experiences as starting higher, with the more recent studies showing in reality you may have to go a whole lot higher, the whole idea of starting high and going higher is probably something you're going to see more of in the future. So when you're trying to go ahead and play with the defibrillator itself, remember that you can dial it up or down depending on how much you need to give. So if you've got a little kid who weighs 25 kilos, simply double it so you shock at 50 the first time. And if you have to shock a little kid who weighs 15 kilos, you simply say, all right, 15 times two is 30. Or if you've got a little 10 kilo one-year-old and you want to shock them, just double it, you go to 20. Great. However, two other key features that are kind of important to know, the first of which is simply how low can you go. And depending on the defibrillator, it'll go 20, 15 when it hits 10. Now you're into really, really small newborn type doses, but you know what? It's incredibly rare, but you may have to actually shock a newborn. So with that, it goes down to 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. So some of them actually go all the way to 1, but for the most part, after you get below 10, it simply goes 10, just like a NASA shuttle launch, all the way down to one. Now, the other thing though that comes into play is if the numbers match up, well, that's absolutely great. The problem is, what about if it's not a number that matches up? So let's say the kid is 13 kilos. 13 kilos, quick bit of mental math, 13 times two is 26, as we go down, you see 30, you see 20, you don't see 26. So if you don't have exactly what you want, go big or go home. 
you're defibrillating for a reason. So if you have a choice, simply err on the side of going up. If you have a 22 kilo little kid and you do mental math, you're like 44. I've got 50, I've got 30. You don't have 44, go big or go home. So if you've got a defibrillated kid, again, if you've got a PD wheel, Braslow tape, and Tevi app, absolutely use it. But if you don't have one of your cheat sheets in a pinch, just simply pick up your paddles or pads, count them, and do what you need to do.